At some point in life, we have all feared being bitten by a vampire. Thankfully, fear is often replaced by logic, because we know vampires are just creatures from folklore. But if you are a fish living in the Great Lakes, that folklore is a nightmare that is all too real. Speedy, slimy, and armed with a suction cup mouth full of razor sharp teeth, the sea lamprey is nature's largest parasitic, blood sucking creature. And today, we are going to find out just how horrific a swarm of 1,000 sea lamprey can be. <coughs> Now, in the past, we tried an experiment to get me eaten alive by sea lamprey. And to do that, we placed my hands into a tank filled with them. But nothing happened. They swam around and I didn't take a single bite. So to up the ante, we induced a suction, which involved me adhering one to my arm, one to my stomach, where you've got some guts, and of course, in horror film fashion style, we adhered one to my neck. Now, the thing was, the second these fish drew blood, they realized that I was a mammal not exactly the fish buffet line, which is exactly what they would want to be feeding on. So with our first experiments, what we learned is that sea lamprey do not eat human flesh. Today, we're going to perform something slightly different, with two new experiments surrounding the concept of fight or flight. Now, this is something that you've probably heard of before in nature. Now, in almost all instances, when you encounter an animal, I'd say almost 100% an animal is going to flee in the opposite direction. That's called flight. But if an animal finds itself in a situation that it can't get away from, that's when you have a fight. You ever hear the phrase, don't back a badger into a corner? That's because badgers are armed with teeth and claws. You get a badger mad, trust me, you're going to know about it. Now in this instance, we're going to introduce something known as an alarm cue pheromone. That pheromone causes sea lamprey to go absolutely berserk. You're probably wondering to yourself, well, coyote, are you going to add this alarm cue to these sea lamprey? Yeah, guys, we absolutely are. But first I'm thinking, you want to know what exactly is an alarm cue pheromone? That is a great question. More than a decade ago, scientists working with the Great Lakes Fishery Commission hypothesized that pheromones, which are natural odors that animals use to communicate, could disrupt the spawning activity of sea lamprey, helping to keep their populations in check. So how and why does it work? Well, at the end of a sea lamprey's life cycle, or during an attack from a predator, they release a natural scent that other sea lamprey interpret as the presence of death or danger. This alarm cue, the same one I am holding, immediately causes healthy sea lamprey to quickly avoid the area, sending them fleeing away from the perceived danger and ultimately pushing them out of certain environments. So what happens when you add the scent of death to a tank full of sea lamprey who have nowhere to run? That's a good question. Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the alarm cue. That concoction right there is basically sea lamprey kryptonite. Here we go with the smell test. That is terrible, absolutely terrible. And you wanna know something? The sea lamprey has a better sense of smell than I do. I better give it one more sniff. Uh, uh, nope, that, yep, mm -hmm. that's it. I can exactly see without question why this would cause sea lamprey to run in the opposite direction. Practically makes me wanna run in the opposite direction. Okay, this is it time to officially add 250 milliliters of alarm cue. Three, two, alarm cue. Okay, it's starting to disperse. Whoa, 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 we've got action here. Things are starting to get crazy, let's put the top back on. Wow, look at him swarming around the GoPro. Holy mackerel, look at this. Absolutely crazy. Seconds ago, before we added the alarm cue, they were completely still and calm. And now they are looking every which direction to try to escape from the aquarium. Whoa, they're hitting the glass. 
Now you may be thinking to yourselves, Coyote, aren't you gonna stick your hands in there and see if they'll shred them down to the bone, blood and guts and nastiness everywhere? Not quite, guys, because I think that now that we know the alarm cue works, it'll be much more entertaining and far more educational to actually place me into a dunk tank. Yes, that's right, a dunk tank with 1,000 sea lamprey. I go in, the alarm cue goes in, and anything is possible. Stay tuned, because part two of this experiment is going to be crazy. Sea lamprey originally invaded the Great Lakes from the Atlantic Ocean through a series of man-made shipping canals in the 1800s. And without any predators or population control at the time, their numbers exploded. The battle to control invasive sea lamprey in the Great Lakes is hard fought, and the discovery of an alarm cue as a powerful repellent could be one more step toward placing a stake in the heart of these bloodthirsty vampire fish. So what happens when the applicator of the alarm finds themselves in a scenario where the sea lamprey cannot evade the perceived threat? This is the chaos you have been waiting for. And to perform the experiment, I have traveled to Millersburg, Michigan, where I'm once again working with my friends at the Hammond Bay Biological Station, a research laboratory jointly managed by the Great Lakes Fishery Commission and the U.S. Geological Survey. We have set up a classic carnival dunk tank, and it's been filled with 1,000 blood-sucking sea lamprey. Okay, I am suited up. I have my red solo cup of alarm cue. It's time to get dunked into a tank full of vampire fish. Here we go. There's no turning back now. Beneath me is a dunk tank filled with 1,000 sea lamprey. And I gotta tell you, sitting in the hot seat looking down into them is a whole lot different than being outside of the tank. It's all of a sudden become very real. So here's what's gonna happen. Inside of this cup, I have alarm cue. As we saw earlier, adding alarm cue in with the sea lamprey causes them to go into a complete frenzy. You'll also notice that I'm wearing this brightly red colored life preserver. Now the reason for the life preserver is that if the lamprey attack and they start to adhere to my body, believe it or not, that weight could keep me underwater. So I've got a little tab here that I could pull to help me get to the surface. Hopefully that won't happen, but you never know when it comes to angry sea lamprey. Now, my goal is to stay in here for at least two minutes. However, if I'm being bitten and eaten alive, I may not make it that long. Okay, Mario, I'm gonna need you to come into the scene because what's gonna happen is you are gonna actually be the one who deploys me down and into the lamprey. And as soon as he hits that deployment button, the seat will drop and Coyote becomes the buffet line. You guys ready? Take off my flip flops and I'm gonna put on a dive mask. I have no idea how crazy these lamprey are gonna get, but if we learned anything earlier, there's going to be splashing and tails absolutely everywhere. And for the comedic purposes, I might as well keep my hat on as well, because it'll be fun to see it go down beneath the lamprey. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be eaten alive by sea lamprey. Three, two, hit! I feel like I am literally in an entire ah, bath of slime right now, being eaten alive by aliens. Oh, oh. Ah, ah. There's one in here to my arm now. Look at this. Ah. <laughs> They're biting out of my legs and my arms. Ah, ah, ah. Now that I'm not moving, the lamprey have come to a standstill. 
they figured out that they're not able to escape and they're also not attacking. Which tells me that even with the alarm cue, sea lamprey are not necessarily going to eat humans alive. So while they may be completely alien looking in design, totally bizarre and absolute living nightmares as vampire fish, look at that. They have no interest in consuming humans. Even when I was in here, splashing around, thrashing left and right, absolutely nothing. All I wanted to do was simply escape. But what we have learned from the alarm cue is that it is incredibly effective when pushing lamprey in a certain direction. So the work that's being done with this research to drive lamprey out of river systems where they may become detrimental to fish or other native species is something that hopefully will work in the fight against sea lamprey. But when it comes to putting them inside of a dunk tank and getting them to eat a human alive, I can tell you firsthand guys, it ain't gonna happen. So that tells the sea lamprey, we're gonna stick to their diet of fish. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. The battle to defeat sea lamprey in the Great Lakes is ongoing. But with the discovery of an Achilles heel, the sea lamprey's amazing sense of smell, scientists are taking a strong upper hand. By herding sea lamprey into specific areas using alarm cues, we may greatly reduce the need for lamprecide treatments. Combined with trapping and cross-stream barriers to prevent spawning migrations, sea lamprey populations have declined by 90%, which ultimately results in healthier Great Lakes ecosystems. If you would like to learn more, or have a desire to join the fight against the invasive sea lamprey, contact the Great Lakes Fishery Commission and help keep our lakes free of blood-sucking vampires. Hey Coyote Pack, are you interested in learning more about our planet's bizarre biological landmines? If so, you can sign up for a free Varsity Tutors class with me as the instructor. Just check out the link in the video description below. Which one of the following is not a real animal adaptation for survival? 